Hi everyone, this is Arun Verma. Welcome to my channel. So this is a series of 40 consecutive international fully funded internship programs. So before moving ahead, I would like you to consider subscribing and liking this channel so that whenever I come up with a new video, you must be notified of it. And also at the end of the video, I will tell you that how to crack these programs easily. We as a team of the people who have already cracked these programs are providing some services which you will be made aware of. So yeah, in this video, we are going to cover the ETH Zurich, which is very prestigious, the QS rank six, and it's Robotics Summer Fellowship Program. So what's in this program? Let's dive into the video. Now talking about the work nature. So the fellows who are selected to the Robotics Summer Fellowship Program will work alongside with the experts of their field in the chosen field of the Robotics Initiative. So they will be working on the fields on which they are already working or there must be some fields outlined. You can research more on the link given below in the description. So you should be enrolled into the master's degree and your year or you, you can say the time of graduation should be in the spring, the year after the internship is commenced upon. So you can say that you are not yet graduated and you are just beginning your master's in the year itself. So you can apply to this internship and apart from it, there's also one more eligibility criteria that's outlined at the site of ETH Zurich and that is about the timeline. So the timeline of this internship is from July 1st to August 31st. I repeat, July 1st to August 31st and you as a student or a summer scholar should be able to attend this internship for on this specific time frame. Please understand that the site itself says that there is no extension or contraction of the internship that is related to the dates. So the stipend as outlined on the site of uh, ETH Zurich is you will be receiving 4000 Swiss francs to cover your living expenses and also to cover everything else including the accommodation. And apart from it, they will be covering the incoming and outgoing traveling costs which are to be reimbursed at the start of the internship when you begin with them. So yeah, more about the procedure, you can always inquire on the link that is given in the description below. About the accommodation, the ETH Zurich is responsible for providing you the accommodation but always as they have mentioned that you have to pay for the accommodation yourself. So yeah, you from the 4000 Swiss francs that you are getting, as a stipend to this internship, you have to pay your accommodation out of it. The part of the deadlines, deadlines and the results. So 16 January, please take, no, take a note that 16 January is the date when the applications to the this RSP program is beginning. And also apart from it, it would be ending by 28th of February. I repeat 28th of February, these applications would be ending. So yeah, in this time frame, you can apply to ETS Zurich, this program. Now coming over, to the things that you need to prepare to apply for this internship program. So first thing is as expected the curriculum vitae. If you cannot understand what is curriculum vitae, it's actually an academic summary of whatever you have done or achieved professionally in your field. If you don't know that how to give a CV, okay, please wait till the end of the video, we'll be telling you some things. The CV should be in Europass format. If you don't know what is Europass format, I'll be explaining you soon. Apart from it, an official academic transcript is required, which you can like by the name suggest, you know. And apart from it, letter of motivation. This is very important, a very crucial document in your selection process and learn it to draft how we have drafted the selected people to those internship programs, to these prestigious internship programs at the end of the video and also two letter of recommendations which are from academic referees. Now, yeah, you must be confused at how to give these letter of recommendations because they should be very strong in order to secure a position at these internship programs. So, fi so finally, let's dive into the most interesting part of the video that how to avail these documents and how to write it in a proper format. So hi guys, again, I'm telling you that who am I to tell you all about this? So I have, I have myself cracked these level of internships. I was last year intern at DSSG Data Science for Social Good at University of Warwick, UK. And apart from it, I also interned with Saints Basils, UK. So I have been into these domains and my friends have cracked various prestigious internship programs such as MyTax, such as, such as DART and also various other programs such as Alto uh, Science Institute program. So we as a team have developed some services which we offer over the site that inforn.com. You can always log on to inforn.com, go to the services section, there you will find some of the services that we offer to you for making your CV, for making your letter of motivation, for writing your statement of purpose and also your letter of recommendations. You can always see that how 
the quality of these documents are on our reviews and also we as a team know that how the selections are made because we have already been there so yes if you're applying it for the first time do consider taking the services because we know how to increase your chances for selection thanks for watching this video till end and do like and subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos thank you